Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I made this heart catch-all tray for my wife for Valentine's Day. This is a pretty easy project to do once you understand how to set up the tool files and everything for that. And you can definitely customize it in any way that you would like. It's a great project and uh, it's definitely something that's great for beginners to get into. So without further ado, let's show you how I made it. It's time to make a catch-all tray for my wife for Valentine's Day. So we're starting out with a piece of walnut that my wife and I actually saved from the burn pile at a sawmill. Uh, so this is just a nice piece of walnut. We're getting it all flattened out so that we can get the tray created and make sure that everything is nice and flat. So now we can switch out for the point roundover bit and get the roundovers done on the outside of this piece. It's really nice to be able to do this on the CNC. It makes things a little bit easier and keeps things a lot more accurate, especially since this is a very thin-lipped piece around certain areas, making rounding over on a router table a little more difficult. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. So we're switching out for a bowl bit here. This is a three quarter inch diameter bowl bit. There's a flat bottom on it. You can see those lines that are being created there. Those lines happen as the bit goes from conventional cutting to climb cutting. So it's just basically differences in the wood. It's not actual steps or anything like that. The bit creates a nice rounded profile at the bottom of it. And you can see I knew we were going to run into a knot here. So I put a piece of blue tape on the bottom of it just in case. So I can fill it with super glue without it worrying about it getting glued down to the actual CNC. So we're using some Starbond medium super glue with a bit of accelerator. And then we can take one final pass with the bull bit. I went in an offset on the original passes because it was faster, but on this final pass, I'm doing a very small step down and doing a pass with the grain. This will help prevent any sort of excess sanding um, as going with the grain will always provide a smoother finish. So you can see that that knot filled really nicely. Now we're gonna engrave the bottom of it with the 45771-K. 30 degree engraving bit and I'm just going to put in my wife and I's uh, anniversary date. So this is uh, definitely making it a little more customized and special. So we'll then get it switched out for a quarter inch down cut bit. This one has a one and an eighth inch cut height so it can cut through the full thickness of this material without any issues. The down cut leaves a nice clean top surface and the bottom surface will be rounded over so it doesn't matter too much what that looks like. So we got it all cut out and we can get it removed from the clamps. Well, the super glue did soak through so I'm glad that I did that and we can get it trimmed out. So now we're gonna round over the backside edge and trim the tabs flush at the same time on the router table. This is the 3 16th inch ball bearing mini roundover bit. You can see it fits in that quarter inch area where the profile was cut out. Not a whole lot of bits can do that. and leaves a really nice clean finish. So now using the Gator Micro Zip sanding pad with just a bit of 220 grit sandpaper, we can get it all sanded down. And using some compressed air, you can see everything is ready to go. So my wife and I never give cards. We always write messages on pieces on the back. So that's what we're doing here and then signing it and then it's time to put finish on. I really like Formby's Tongue Oil for stuff like this. It's a great finish, super easy to apply, and it always looks really nice. So we can get it all buffed off, and I really love the matte finish that it always gives these pieces. So one little tip here, you can use some compressed air to blow out uh, the finish from the engraved areas. That way you get a nice same luster throughout the whole piece. If you don't, it'll end up looking really shiny. So this is definitely something that I hope inspires you to create something like this. And definitely check out those plans on our website for more information about how to make it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.